Hi, we're here with Peter Treadway. He's the founder of Acton. And Peter is going to tell us a little bit about something called rocket skates. Peter, you were a former extreme rollerblader, which kind of explains how you came up with this concept. But um, tell us a little bit about what rocket skates really are. Well, rocket skates are motorized skates. We have motors inside of each of the wheels. We've got battery packs in the backs. And we have a suspension here to help balance you out a little bit. And a bunch of sensors, so when you tilt your foot forward or back, it speeds you up or slows you down. You go about, say, 10 to 12 miles an hour. And maybe between 6 and 10 miles of range on a charge. Also, the uh, skates kind of communicate with each other wirelessly, don't they? That's true. We do not have a remote. The skates are controlled entirely by your feet, and they talk to each other to make sure they're all going the same speed and not in different directions and all of that kind of stuff. <laughs> How fast can a rocket skates go? They can go between uh, somewhere around 10 or 12 miles an hour. We've got an example here in front of us. Can you take us through some of the um, uh, more interesting components on it? <laughs> well, the design, we think anyway, is, is pretty interesting. We like the way uh, it kind of wraps around your ankle. And, and um, the wheels are inspired by uh, Lancia Stratos, which some of you may know. And uh, we have an extra spoke in there, of course. But um, we have our suspension here, so you can kind of see that moving. That helps stabilize you. You have a kind of snowboard type binding that you strap over pretty much any shoe. No heels. <laughs> and uh, a strap to help you carry it. Some re reinforcement on the bottom here for our nylon reinforced chassis. What's the electric motor technology? We use hub motors, and there's one in each of the large wheels that you see here. They are about 50 watts each, and we developed them specifically for these skates. You can't buy them off the shelf. Are the hub motors uh, coordinated by a motion controller? The hub motors are coordinated. We have computers in each of our skates, little microcontrollers that um, balance their speed and torque delivery and all of that kind of stuff. So that's very important for, for making sure they're going the same speed. What's the power source? We use lithium ion batteries and they uh, are housed within this futuristic <laughs> faceted design in the back. What's the uh, battery capacity? It's good. It's up there. We have three different capacities, by the way. So ultimately, what you'll get out of that in ideal conditions, we have an R6, which corresponds to a six mile range, R8, eight mile range, and R10 for a 10 mile range. And each of those, uh, of course, is under ideal conditions. What's the development plan for these? Um, do you have other products in mind coming down the coming down the line that are kind of like this? Yes, we do. And we have probably two products in the next six months which we'll be introducing. And they both use a lot of the technology that we've developed for these skates and also for our scooters. Uh, can't tell you exactly what they are yet, but we will just call them wearable at this point. Peter, how do you uh, control these? Do you use a smartphone, a controller, or what? Well, they're controlled by your feet, but they're managed by an app that we've developed, which you can get on Android and iOS. You can find out where your battery levels are. You can determine you know, which mode you want to be in. We have a beginner mode for people when they get the skates, and then there's a normal and then professional. And, and they uh, also the app also connects to other people who are using the skates. So you can see all over the world, you know, who, who owns them, where they are, communicate with them, uh, maybe become friends or something like that. And uh, yeah, you can, you can do a lot of things with the app. Can you hack into it and, uh, and, ra and race these things? <laughs> well, we have an open SDK, so I, we're, we encourage people to hack it to a certain, certain point, of course. We don't want to go too far. <laughs> 
That's great. That sounds like a lot of fun, Peter. Thank it's you. Pretty fun. Thanks a lot.